Let's talk about complaints, just the general idea of them. Let's talk about the definition and really what, you know, why is this a discussion or a topic for discussion within our industry? So I think that's maybe the best place to start is the why. Well, the why, it's about information. Hey, complaints happen. I don't care what sort of business you're in, whether it's banking or some other form of retail or sales or whatever it may be, complaints happen. And complaints are really information in their simplest form. It's information that then the person that the complaint was provided to has a choice at that point, okay? The choice is to deal with the complaint and utilize the information and find some value in it, okay? Or they can completely ignore it. And I know in a lot of industries, maybe a lot of businesses you've dealt with, it gets ignored. And I'm gonna try to kind of try to change your tune on that. Now, part of this, the angle is that the regulatory agencies have put a huge um, value on this. And so they're making it a priority. But let's just set that aside for a moment. Yeah, regulatory priority, but let's find another way to, to sell this and try to get more buy-in. This information is extremely valuable. And I'm going to give you more on that here in just a moment. Now, the, the, the regulatory chains, okay, what's the push coming from? Well, it's the regulators, but it's also your peers. Okay, your peers have determined, many of them, just how valuable this information has come to be. And so when regulators go into financial institutions, when it, review teams like ours go into financial institutions. We see how they do it. And we find some really cool things that they're doing. So things are working really well. And we take that to the next financial institution. Okay? And so it becomes this evolution. That's what's really pushing the, the, the change, the evolution, if you will. It's your peers pushing to move from good to great.